Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Lindbergh's authentic pirate pistol, Caribbean Pirates, the Mikule. And the reason why I bought this particular kit was because of Halloween. At the time of this recording, it's about to be Halloween 2014, and I wanted to build a Halloween related model kit. Originally, I thought I wanted to build a uh, a monster figure such as Dracula or Frankenstein or the mummy but I really wasn't into building those particular type of figures but I wanted to build something that was related to Halloween so I found this and in this uh, advertisement here in the box it says that build a model of an authentic looking pistol just like those used by real pirates well I think this is a gimmick but my research shows that this uh, model pistol is a remanufactured uh, pistol that was first made back in the 1960s. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have one plastic bag containing the gun barrel, the gun hilt, and parts for the lock and the instruction sheet. I want to talk to you about an alteration I've done with this model kit. This is the bottom half of the gun and right on top is the gun barrel. The bottom half is consists of three parts, this part here, this part here, and this part over here. And it was originally intended um, in the instructions to glue these three parts onto the gun barrel. But I don't want to do that. I It makes it easier for me to paint the um, model in two halves. And so I have to alter it a little bit by adding sprues that I'm pointing at right now to hold up the three parts together. Okay, so we built the model kit and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is the Capito model pistol before painting and it is a very realistic looking pistol. I like the ornate decorations on the bottom of the pistol and this model kit is easy to build. So I recommend this model kit for all skill levels including the beginner. Now um, for me making model guns I feel indifferent about it. I neither hate it nor like it. So if I had to do it again, I probably would not make an another model gun because there's other model subjects that I would like that I like better. But for those of you who like to make model guns, this is a good choice. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint the model. 
I already painted the model with a coat of black primer and now I'm going to use my airbrush and paint the entire model with the base color. It's time for me to protect my model. I'm going to give the entire model a coat of future flow wax. I'm going to give my model a wash. What you see right here is a dilution of black artist oil paint and mineral spirits. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply give the entire model a wash. All right, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the Papita model pistol after painting, and it looks very nice. I like the way I did the wash, and it really brought out the nice intricate details the ornate details of this pistol, very nice. And I especially like the details of this area, um, the ball right here. And this mo model pistol does have a lever action for the flintlock, as I'm showing right now. It's a nice model kit, and it does look very realistic to me. That completes this model project. What you're about to see next is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encouraged you to build a model kit of your own. Uh, there's a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC, thanks for watching, and always, please, have a great day.